Hello, my name is Vivian Kepsel, and this is my proposition of policy and research blog. The topic I chose to speak about in my vlog is cyberbullying in the United States, and um, I'm going to be talking about the ways it can be prevented and stop it from happening. Have you ever been cyberbullied or seen it going on around you? Well, I know I have, and I know that it needs to be stopped. I wanted to talk about cyberbullying because I know how many people it affects and it's very negative. The topic of cyberbullying is an ongoing problem among many people, especially teenagers and children in the US, and I feel efforts to reduce cyberbullying need to be used. Although poorly defined, cyberbullying is an abusive online behavior that involves a bully sending a victim a series of hostile messages over time with um, the intention of hurting them or making them feel bad on a social media network. My proposition of policy states that the United States school and education systems should follow important steps when working to prevent cyberbullying from or by implementing um, these anti-bullying policies in every school possible. The format of my statement is important because it shows and displays the necessary steps needed to prevent cyberbullying from happening in the first place. The steps of my new policy include establishing and training a committee to prevent um, bullying from happening and they would develop the program itself. Um, the next step would be just for the committee to provide a bullying prevention awareness for the whole school, including staff and even parents if they wanted to come. Step, um, the next step would be just to provide the prevention awareness assembly and um, these steps would help students and staff gain knowledge on cyberbullying and why it needs to be put to an end. The anti-bullying policy um, should be executed in every school in the country for it to work and for it to reduce cyberbullying. An article written by Diane L. Hoff and Sydney N. Mitchell from the University of Maine. Um, it was written on August 14, 2009, titled Cyberbullying, the Causes, Effects, and Remedies from EmeraldInsight.com states that cyberbullying most commonly emerges from um, relationship problems such as breakups, jealousy, um, stuff like that. And um, that's most commonly found in teenagers because of just the ongoing like drama in high school and just because of people are not always nice to each other. Victims of cyberbullying ex uh, experience many negative effects, especially just their mental well-being. Um, the reactive behavior of the school staff is not always seen. It's not always effective. Um, as a result of that, Cyberbullying victims many times experience um, depression, um, anxiety, isolation. They have a hard time focusing um, and just overall the feeling of helplessness. So with changes in prevention of cyberbullying, we can help to stop children and teenagers from having to experience these harmful effects. An article written by Elizabeth Whitaker and Robin M. Kalowski with the Department of Psychology at Clemson University on April 1st, 2014, titled Cyberbullying via Social Media um, with, the, um, with the website taylorandfrancisonline.com talks about ideas um, for prevention an intervention of cyberbullying, just going over um, detection software to um, detect certain parts of cyberbullying. And these softwares encourage um, all user users of 
these social media websites or platforms to just really think twice before cyberbullying or putting a mean message out there. The use of these methods um, could help, especially on United, or social media sites, because that is where cyberbullying occurs most. Um, the authors of the sources I used are very much credible because they are professionals and they are, special, they are specialists in the fields that I am researching and that they research. Um, the sources that I used were valuable because they helped me learn about um, the negative effects of this and demonstrate all of this about cyberbullying. Um, because cyberbullying is kind of a new phenomenon in our society today, um, I feel that these ways to reduce it should be brought about as soon as possible so we can put an end to it as a whole. And um, in conclusion, awareness is the key to prevent cyberbullying or online harassment, but um, U.S. schools and education systems should make the children aware at a very young age. And parents should also monitor their children's online use and everyone involved should be cost, cost, cautious of this because um, I feel that cyberbullying needs to be reported right away so that no one gets hurt in the process, no one has to feel the negative effects of it. And my policy change is not only important in our country and society today, but it will always need to be used because of the never ending um, advancements in technology and these social media platforms. So that is um, my proposition of policy research vlog. So thank you.